Okay, so I've got this ultrasonic cleaner here. It is an LR make, and it's a T7, T7 model. There's a little warning in the corner that says, warning, high voltage, ground generator before operating, disconnect power cord before servicing. Servicing of transducer and other high voltage components must be done by factory or other fully competent personnel. So I probably shouldn't be working on it, but let's go ahead and get started. The main problem that I'm having is the inside of the tank has some corrosion. That was the main cause of it uh, actually shocking me. Another thing that I noticed as I was looking it over was the ground prong is actually been cut off. So that's gonna be a problem. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the old one. This is another three prong plug that I have. Okay, so right here I've got green, white, and black. Green, white, and black. I'm really not too worried about too much moisture getting in here, so I just put tape around it. I think that should hold fine. I don't have to take that fifth one off, so I'll just take the four corners off. Now you'll notice the top right here is already coming off on mine. Literally all I did was stick a screwdriver in there and kind of pry it up is supposed to also pry off. For the most part, all the connections look fine. They don't look corroded. Um, you know, there's a couple brackets that are rusted, but you know, all these electrical components are look fine. But one thing I will do is go through with electrical cleaner and clean off all the connections and everything. But as far as the transducer and um, a lot of these knobs and electrical stuff, I'm not even gonna really touch that at all. So if this is the green wire and it's the ground wire, this is my original plug and the ground was completely gone. This was given to me for free and I, you know, I just plugged it in to see if it would work and it shocked the daylights out of me. And you can see the green wire here. It goes up here and up into here, connected to the transducer. You'll see that the white wire on the on off switch goes directly to the main power cable and also up to the transducer as well. The black wire on the main power supply also goes to this knob right here, which has a, got a fuse on the inside of it, right there. So I'm gonna go through and clean this entire thing. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this off completely. There's a layer of glue surrounding it. I think that's all that's holding it on. And I'm gonna try to repair the tank. Okay, so that's what the bottom of that looks like. And I've got uh, another ground wire right here. I can go ahead and, and take that off so I can work with it a little easier. What I plan on doing is grinding all this old glue off. So 
So right here on the side of the tank, I actually have a date. It says 10-27-78. So I'm working on something that is, uh, what, 40 years old now. There's also another stamp right here. It says 1978. So I've got this thing patched up and it doesn't leak anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and move on with the project. The first thing I need to do is glue this uh, big flat piece right here back to the bottom of it. And the stuff that I like to use is called Permatex. It's a two part epoxy. It takes five minutes to set in. Gasoline, diesel, water, kerosene, and most other chemical resistant. I'm going to go ahead and put some RTV sealant on the inner side of the uh, tank right there. I'm pretty sure that's what was in it beforehand, the black stuff. Uh, this is just newer and a, a different kind right here. It's basically just any type of rubber sealant. My camera died just a second ago when I was putting the gasket on, but basically I just laid the blue gasket maker on all four corners and I let it sit like that overnight. So that should be nice and dry now. I'm going to go ahead and put the four screws back on the back right here. All right, so I've got everything back together and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I actually already tested it off camera just in case it shocked me, but it actually does work and it does not shock me. So this repair has been a success. And you don't wanna put your hand inside the water for too long, but just a couple seconds is fine. You know, if you wanna like do that. But yeah, awesome.